looking live at Folsom Field in Boulder, Colorado, as ABC Sports Thanksgiving Feast, presented by Siemens, continues. Unbeaten Nebraska and Colorado. At stake, a spot in next week's Big 12 title game. And for Nebraska, the BCS poker chips have all been pushed to the center of the table. Six other BCS powers still playing for the championship are all hoping Colorado isn't bluffing. You wanted a tournament? Well, for Nebraska, it's win or go home. What we noticed about this Colorado team all week is the quiet confidence. The coaches and the players they believe coming in. And it's purified for a touchdown. Purified breaks open. He slowed up too early and got hit by Gross. When he slowed up, he was risking it, but he goes in for the touchdown, and it is six nothing Colorado. You send the two guys, Gerard and Rogers. Those are the two guys that get the block. Brett, I think he was so open, he believed the whistle blew. He said, "I can't be this open." He turns around and says, "What's going on here?" And it was the handoff here to their number two back in the rotation. They go four deep at running back. Here's number two, the sensational Purify. It's 7-0. Slot to the left. Three wide on second and long after the holding nullified the touchdown. And there's that hole again. And out to the 24-yard line, Chris Brown, who transferred from Northwestern. He's a warrior, folks. A survivor, a kid that wouldn't quit. Here's the handoff now to Purify. The middle wide open again. And Purify to the 35-yard line. And Gary, there's your point. I Where are the it. linebackers? I don't get it. It's simple misdirection. Simple. I mean, this is nothing outrageous. Tailback takes a step one way, comes back the other way. Where are these linebackers going? They're overrun. Look at Burrow. Way out of the play over here. After losing their opener to Fresno State and being vilified. That man was almost run out for a play call that resulted in an interception. Third down. And again, Brown, the power back, pounding the middle of this Nebraska defense to the 11-yard line. Page, Bates, Gerard, Rogers, Lucier, even Graham have been blowing up a proud defense of Nebraska, giving up only 93 yards rushing all year a game. And look what they're doing today. On the left side are two first-round draft choices on this formation, Gerard and Rogers. They'll run in that direction, Brown. Touchdown! Their fourth touchdown of the opening quarter. Watch the center get the middle linebacker. Again, overrunning the play. Lucier makes the snap, rubs out, and just walls that middle linebacker past the play. You cannot be over-aggressive. Chris Brown is back in. He lines up behind Drum. Drum will lead the way. Chris Brown, touchdown! Would you believe what's happening here today in Boulder, Colorado? The return to dominance indeed. Daddy played with Dan Fouts at Oregon. Later with the Denver Broncos. He's a dandy. Here's Brown. emphasize this too much. Then watch the big guys here, though. Watch the two guys. You talked about them. Two great offensive linemen. Ode gets the kick out. Here comes Rodgers around, lays it out, and walk it. Why if Shanley's aside to Graham? Colorado goes to Motion McCoy. Run back away from the motion, and again a huge hole for the running back, Brown. Folks, they put up 400 yards of offense here in the first half. Purify. Blasting <laughs> through the hole. Chris Brown, the power back for Colorado, and another first down, and here they come again. The motion fullback. to the 40-yard line. Where are the safeties? Where are the defensive linemen? They run right up the middle right here. Safeties, here's a safety back here. Here's a safety back there. Look at that gash. That's a gash against that defensive line. 
First down at the 41-yard line. Now they have Booker lined up at a cornerback, Nebraska, and he's going to chase the fullback on first down. They run right straight ahead with Brown, and Booker trying to hang on, and he made more yards. Booker couldn't bring him down. He's inside the 10-yard line. Get a sprint right through. Look at this. This is against Nebraska. You don't even see anybody in the picture here until this Chris Brown gets into the secondary, and Booker, who's playing man-to-man -man coverage, comes in and has to hold on for dear life. Going in that direction, touchdown! They go behind the big horses. And Colorado puts a big six up on the board here in the fourth quarter. Hold down block, and then they're going to bring Gerard around. Same play that they scored on earlier in this football game. Block down, block down, and bring the big guy. Folks, this could be Heartbreak Hotel for Brigham Young. And we will show you as the rest of this game unfolds. It is now first down, backed up to the 13-yard line. Here's the toss play to Brown. Breaks a tackle, touchdown! Touchdown! That's five for Chris Brown. The young man from Naperville, Illinois. The Buffaloes are going to Texas, no doubt about it now. Takes the toss. Big number 56 is right there. The nose tackle runs right through the nose tackle to score a touchdown. But the leader and the difference has been Pesavento replacing the injury of Trey Oaks. Brian, can he get number six? They know they cannot look beyond to the Big 12 championship game and next Saturday night. They've got to tend to business first and then worry about this suddenly dominant Colorado team. Here comes Brian again. Touchdown, six. Six touchdowns for Brown. their biggest game of the year. They put a 62 on Nebraska. And this guy used to play for Northwestern. <laughs> he came with Gary. Good move. And Chris Brown, who was rested for this game, did the rest. Don't forget Bobby Purify also. He started that game out with that long run. He also went over 100 yards in this football game. Two backs over 100 yards. Brown was late, but Purify had a tremendous start of this football game at first drive. He picked up the blitz with Nebraska so good at it, and the next play they pop him for the touchdown. He got him off and rolled. Brown looking for more, folks, looking for more. They lose three first round draft choices, and that always shows up. Do you run the play again? Do you run the play over here? Same play they've been doing. They're in that formation. You block down, run to the right, pull number 65 right here. Give it to Drum. <laughs> Fourth down. There's the play again. And he broke a tackle. Brown inside the 30-yard line. He's been unstoppable. Block down, pull around. I think those tackles there. Selected number 56 runs right through it. And Brown, too strong this game for this defense. Brown to the 25. Third down here. They're going to run Brown again. First down. First down for Brown. And uh, he's just had an unbelievable day. So no surprise, today's Chevrolet players of the game. Number 22 is certainly one of them, Chris Brown, who's now rushed for 198 yards and six touchdowns. He is two yards short. He wants out, but they're telling him he's two yards short from the two head. He's I can go, I can give me, just give me a breath here. Key play of the game. So there we have it, just a huge upset. 62 points for Colorado. Gary Barnett beats. Nebraska and the goal post on the left side is down already. It didn't take him but seconds. And I'm sure the one on the right is going to come down too. 
Once again, our final score, Colorado 62, Nebraska 36. Can you believe it? ABC Sports is online at ESPN.com, keyword ABC Sports. Don't forget, more college football tomorrow. This is ABC Sports, continuing the tradition of excellence. So long, everybody, from Boulder, Colorado. The party is underway. <laughs>